So here's a sample equation about how we would actually uh, take a field sample of soil, bring it into the lab, and, uh, and perform some calculations on it to understand what the bulk density, or to get out what the bulk density uh, of this material is. So our question is, we have a soil sample taken from the field with a soil core of 4 centimeters in diameter and 10 centimeters deep. Okay, so let me, let's draw this out here. So we have this... Uh, this core, which you know often is just a uh, metal uh, metal cylinder, an open metal cylinder. So we have a diameter diameter of four centimeters. Okay. We have a length of uh, or a depth of ten centimeters. Okay. Uh, and now we we see that the wet soil plus the beaker weighs two hundred and forty two grams. The dry soil. Uh, plus the beaker weighs uh, uh, 211 grams, and the beaker weighs 49 grams. So you'll recall that our, our calculation for uh, for bulk density, which often is, is uh, designated by uppercase uh, D, lowercase b, okay. uh, and, or even, sorry, lowercase b here, um, was oven dry... Okay, soil in grams divided by the volume in cubic centimeters. Okay. So now we gotta say, okay, well what's what's this first thing? You know, what's this oven dry soil? How much of how much of all this stuff up here is is what we need, right? Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove this beaker weight, right? So so we'll take two forty two minus 49, and that's going to be uh, 193 grams here, and then 211 minus 49 is 162 grams here. We're going to subtract those from one another, and what that's going to give us is the oven dry, uh, oven dry weight of soil. So 31 Grain, or sorry, that that's the um, uh, that's the the water in the soil. Okay, the water in the soil is uh, is 31 grams. So we have 31 grams of H2O. Okay. So now we're going to calculate the uh, the bulk density of this particular soil that we took a sample of. So we took a soil from the uh, field and, and we have a what's called a soil core which usually is uh, a metal uh, a metal cylinder that's open uh, at both ends. Uh, it could be closed at one end but we can push this down into the soil and, uh, and have soil remain in the cylinder that we can then measure the weight of, and we know the weight of the tin, for we know the weight of the metal cylinder, for instance. So, uh, so in this case, we've got four centimeters uh, in diameter. We have a ten centimeter depth of this soil. Okay, we'll need to know that because this is going to give us the volume of the soil that we uh, that we got from the field. Now, you recall that. Uh, the bulk density, which is signified as capital D, lowercase b, is equal to the oven dry soil in grams divided by the volume in cubic centimeters. Okay. So, <clears throat> so if we look up at this information, uh, you'll realize that we have we have more information than we actually need, right? Because the only thing we need is the oven dry soil weight, okay, and the volume. Well, up here we've got the wet soil plus the beaker, we've got the dry soil plus the beaker, and we've got the beaker weight. I'm going to focus in on this one right here. This is kind of superfluous information that's interesting, and we can use it to calculate some other things later. But for now, we just want to focus in on that dry, uh, the dry soil. So we have 200 and 11 grams of dry soil that's been dried in an oven typically overnight at 105 degrees C. We take that 211, we subtract out 49 grams, because that's the beaker weight right here, and we end up with 162 grams of oven dry soil. Okay, Good, we've got that. 
Now we need to figure out what the volume is. And so you'll hopefully recall from, uh, from math somewhere along the line uh, that in order to calculate the surface area and then the volume of a cylinder, you need pi, that crazy number, times the radius squared times the height. Okay. So we'll use pi, we'll use 3.14 times the radius squared. Well, we've got the diameter. Okay, the radius is actually 2, half the diameter. 2 squared is 4, so, okay, so we're still with 4, times the height, which is 10, okay. Okay, so we've got this. So we'll do 3.14 times 4 times 10 is going to be 125.6, okay? So we've got 162 grams of oven dry soil divided by 125.6 cubic centimeters. All right, we'll do that on the calculator real quick. 125.6, and that's going to give us one point. Two, we'll just call it 9 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, So that's our bulk density is 1.29 grams per cubic centimeter. Now what you need to know is that, uh, is that recall that uh, our particle density, 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter, if we, if we took that let's say that's the density of a mineral, for instance, that we're going to make some soil out of, if we took that and added in half airspace, which is what we say soil is, is, is roughly mineral, half mineral, half pore space, there's organic matter in that as well, uh, and, and so we took this and divided it uh, by, uh, or multiplied it by a half, which would get us uh, half, of that, half of that volume as, um, as pore space, you would get 1.3, okay, 1.3, or if you rounded this up to 1.2.66, uh, you would get 1.33, okay. So, we can have a nice little calcul or a nice little uh, benchmark, this little number right here. If we have a bulk density of around 1.3, what we actually have is a soil that has roughly half mineral material, half pore space. Okay, so for that 50-50 mark is what we're uh, what we're looking at. So if we have something close to this, we can assume that it's about half mineral, half pore space. Okay, nice even mix. If we have something that is greater than 1.33, say we have something 1.68 for instance, what we can say about that is that is more dense. Okay, that's more Dense. So we have uh, we have greater than 50% of that uh, sample is made up of mineral material or solid materials. If we have less than 1.33, say we have 1.12 uh, for instance, if we have 1.12, what we can say is that more of that sample is pore space or open space. So so this little number 1.33 gives us a nice a nice way to uh, determine just by glance if we're dealing with a soil that has hot, that is that is uh, maybe more compressed, so it has a higher bulk density, or less compressed that has a lesser bulk density. We'll see some of these numbers uh, as we look at Figure 4.18.